Hello everyone. This is the first question of exercise 8.2 of R.D. Sharma. And the first question says that the product of two consecutive positive integers is 306. So we have to form a quadratic equation to find the integers. And we are also given that the smaller integer is x. So consecutive numbers are basically those numbers, for example, 2 and 3. They come one after another, means 3 comes after 2. So 2 and 3 are consecutive integers. Now, we are given one number to be x and this is the smaller number. So smaller number equals to x and denoting it by s. So the larger number will be equals to x plus 1. 1 greater than the smaller number. And we are also given that these numbers are positive. So that's why we took it as x plus 1. Now, we are given that the product of these numbers is equal to 306. So, x multiplied by x plus 1 is equal to 306. Now, we'll factorize 306. 2, 1 times 2, 2, 5 times 10, and 3. Now, 3, 5 times 15, 3, 1 times 3, 3, 1 times 3, 3, 7 times 21, and 17, 1 time. Now, we can write this and form it as a quadratic equation. x square plus x minus 306 is equals to 0. Now, this is x. So, we have to arrange them in such a manner that we get x. We can write this like 3 into 3 is 9 and 9 into 2 is 18. So, 18 minus 17 will give us x. x square plus 18 minus 17 this is equals to 1, x. And here also this is equals to 1. Minus 306 is equals to 0. Now, x square plus 18x minus 17x minus 306 is equals to 0. x common, x plus 18. Minus 17 common, x plus 18 equals to 0. So this will be equals to x minus 17 and x plus 18 is equals to 0. So we'll get the value of x and we'll have two values of x. So x will be equals to 17, the first value and the x second value is x equals to minus 18 on keeping this equals to 0 and this equals to 0. Now we were given that these two numbers were positive integers. This is positive, but this is negative. So we'll exclude this and we'll include this value. So the smaller integer is 17 and the larger integer is 17 plus 1, that is 18. This is how you can solve this question. Thank you.